Hi everyone! Today we will continue to talk about Photoshop filters and learn how to use some of them as a technique to achieve a certain design effect. So let's start our lesson number 23. If you have a second, please subscribe to my channel. One of a very interesting and common textile technique is iCAD. Let's look at some examples. iCAD is a very essential technique for the ethnic design. Look at these motifs, isn't it beautiful? For the beginning, let's convert some simple motif into iCAD design. Open our Geo Design from lesson number 3, Color Reduction. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Brush Strokes, Spray Stroke. Stroke Direction is Vertical. Play with Stroke Lens and Spray Radius. I think it's not difficult to achieve a desired effect visually. Click OK. Not bad. But let's check how many colors we have. If we go to Image Mode Index Color, we can see there are many of them and we need to reduce the amount of colors. Please see my lesson number 3, Color Reduction. So, let's open our clean version, what we've made before with indexed colors. Amount of colors is 6. Go to Filter. Unfortunately, the target menu is gray. Why? Because filters don't work in indexed color mode. Let's go Image, Mode, RGB. Filter, Filter Gallery, Brush Strokes, Spray Stroke. Stroke Direction, Vertical. I like this design. Click OK. Let's check amount of colors. 6. We are lucky we didn't get any additional colors. So, which way is better, to apply a brush strokes filter and then do color reduction or reduce colors and apply filter afterward? It depends on your design, but I prefer to apply filters after their color reduction. That's because you may get a very messy design like this. Our original Kerbera brush stroke. Hmm. Compare Herbera, Image Mode, Indexed Color, back to RGB, Brush Stroke, Spread Stroke. Looks much cleaner. Now, are all filters preserved separate colors? Unfortunately not. Go to Filter Gallery. Try to choose filters one by one. See the difference. So before choosing any filter, do a quick test. Zoom in and be sure that your chosen filter is color preserved. Does it mean we cannot choose any of these beautiful filters for the textile design? Of course not. But just prepare. You may get the additional work afterward. So, as usual, use your own evaluation and make the compromise between the beauty and timing. Now, let's use one more filter for the same effect I cut. Go to Filter, Stylize, Wind. We have the three methods. Wind, Blast, Stagger. And the direction, right? And left. Let's try wind from the right. Look, we are losing our color separation. Uh, we are getting the additional half tones. Let's go back. Go to blast. See, colors are preserved. And stagger? The same with colors. They are preserved, but design wise, <clears throat> I would say. A bit too much. Why the final effect for these three methods is different color-wise? Additional colors for the first one and clean for the second and the third. Honestly, I have no idea that the programmer's idea. So, based on all above, I've chosen the blast. 
the effect is pronounced and the colors are preserved. But we have a problem. A wind effect is always horizontal, no doubt because it's a wind. But I cut excluding some specific design solutions is always almost always vertical. Why? Because the vertical lines and strokes are more flattering for human bodies. They make it visually slimmer and more elongated instead of wider and broader. So what is the solution? Go to image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. Then go to filter, stylus, wind, choose blast. Start from the right. Okay, nice, but not exactly I cut look. Repeat it again, filter, stylus, wind. And now choose from the left. Now that's it. If you rotate it back, you get the I cut print. But can we improve it somehow? Sure. Cancel the rotation. First, we can repeat the blast as many times as we want in both directions. Look, do we like it? Interesting, isn't it? What else? Do you think the lines are too fine for execution? It's easy to change. Go to image, image size, change the resolution to lower number, maybe 100. Don't forget to choose the nearest neighbor for hard edges. See, the iCut strokes became more coarse. That's maybe what we need. But remember, we always try to keep the resolution of all our design consistent. So not a problem. Go back to image, image size, and change it back to 200. As we see, the effect is not coming back to its thinner level. By the way, you always can use this trick to your filtered or even not filtered design if you need to make it less delicate and more abstract. Let's try our favorite rose bouquet. Duplicate to compare. Zoom in. The new file image, image size, nearest neighbor, 100 dpi. Then back, image, image size, 200 dpi. See, this leaf looks totally different. Don't forget, this trick may be both as your friend and your enemy. With getting the desired effect, you may lose some tiny details. So as usual, use your judgment. The next thing. What if we try to make our iCut effect more dramatic and unique? Can we combine, for example, two filters? Why not? Go back to the original version. Remember the clean one, but don't rotate it back. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Brush Strokes, Spread Stroke, but Stroke Direction, Horizontal. Achieve the desired look. Then go to Filter, Stylize, Wind, choose Blast. Make a right blast, then left blast. Or maybe only one, it may work also. I think the combination of these two filters represent more dramatic and attractive effect. And obviously we need to rotate it back. See, isn't it stunning? If you think the texture is too fine, you can use our resolution trick anytime. In the end, I'd like to show you one more thing. Recently, I've got a very interesting project. This dress as an inspiration. It's not actually the eye cut, but it has kind of iCut dynamic in its design. So I'd like to apply our iCut technique using in different directions. So the dress length is usually about 25 inches. So create 25 length canvas, the width about 24. Create a new layer 
and make a smaller rectangular fill with the ground color. Lock it. As we remember, we cannot copy design as this. So let's draw something similar using our creativity. Use the pencil instead of brush to avoid additional pixels. Now, I'll try to add a kind of eye-cut effect to each section of our design to mimic the original print. Let's start from the upper one. As we remember, the best visual effect might be achieved in horizontal way. So let's rotate our design layer to make this section perfectly vertical. First, check the preference that we will not get additional blurry pixels. Edit, Preference, General, choose Nearest Neighbor, Preserve Hard Edges. Go to Edit, Transform, Rotate. While rotating, be sure the interpolation is also indicated as Nearest Neighbor if your Photoshop version has this option. Rotate. See, now it's close to vertical. Choose Lasso, Feather is 0, Anti-Aliased Off. Select this section. Filter, Filter Gallery, Brush Strokes, Spray it Stroke. Direction, Horizontal. OK. Now, without the selecting, go to Filter, Stylized, Wind, Blast. Make a right blast and then left blast. You can repeat as many times as you want to achieve a desired effect. For this, you just need to click the first line in the filter menu. It always shows the most recent filter. Or just click Ctrl F. Do you like these additional strokes, which are the result of some white spots which we missed while designing? I do, but if you don't, you always can eliminate them. Now, go to the next section, rotate the layer to make it vertical, and repeat everything what you made before. Filter, Filter Gallery, Brush Strokes, Spray it Stroke. Then Filter, Stylized, Wind, Blast. You always can repeat any of your filters, even add one after another. Look, we can go now to Spray it Stroke again and repeat it if you want. Go to the next section, rotate it, and repeat all our manipulation. And the next section, and the next one. When you finish everything, bring the file back to the original vertical position and enlarge the layer to the canvas size. Don't forget to check the interpolation. I think we have a very interesting modern dress design made in the fastest and easiest way. So now you know how to create the eye cut and brush stroke design using spray stroke and wind filters. Next time we will continue to use Photoshop filters for creating the original print design. Please subscribe for my channel, like it if you still didn't, and please don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.